All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC flyweight division title. Well, it's got to feel good for this man to make this walk. He has chewed up and spit out all comers on his run to contention. Now he is the undisputed number one contender looking to become the new UFC flyweight champion. A lot of people think he has the skills to do just that. Tonight, though, his opportunity to prove it in front of a sold-out crowd tonight that he is the best 125-pound fighter on the planet. So here we go with this UFC Flyweight Championship fight. And there is the man out of the red corner, the reigning defending, undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, making his way to the octagon. He's defended this belt before. This is not new territory for this young man who believes that the rest are just the rest. He believes he is the best at 125 pounds and looking to prove just that here tonight. All right, let's get you the tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. It's a disappointment. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 5 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Brandon the Assassin Baby Marino! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Suara Para Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Davison Donaguerra. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? Gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter. Taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now.
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Put your hands up higher. Come on. And he landed the right hand there. That was a thudding leg kick. Moreno gets caught with that punch. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The master of the transition. Nice scramble. Watch the shot. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice. Battle for position here. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression. Right. The 25 total strikes have now landed for Davison Figueredo. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Big push position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Big power shot there. Just misses there with the left. Single collar tie here. Nice right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round. And there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Great punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent's back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep fainting out little punches with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, single collar tie now. Flipped with a left-hand counter. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, big knee. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, man, you can hear that one from here as he continues to punish his opponent with that hook on no-nonsense referee almost stepped in there. He almost stepped in because when you start flailing around the octagon, know that the ref has to. He has to. It is his job to save you. You don't want to be on the receiving end of too many of this guy's hook punch. Your boy George Allen might have stepped in and stopped it. All swagged out. Too. George <laughs> Allen all swagged out. Stop your fight. Spinning back fist. He's Spinning throwing every fist. part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Problem at all, okay? The reason that happens is you're dropping your hands. I need you to keep your hands 
All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even at the result in round one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Just missed with the left there. Moreno gets hit by that leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Not there. Right on the button. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Nicely done. Pretty good right hand. Well, if you're sick of us dropping that word hook, don't shoot the messenger because he throws and more often than not, he lands just like he did in the previous round. Found a home for it again. Found a home for it again. And if I'm him, I'm continuing to go to the well. His opponent has not shown an ability to stop him. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his body. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. Got it to win. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more off now the bottom. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Gotta move. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to the ball. And he's out. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under a minute to go in the round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. And he's out. 
regard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple of submissions. They're very rare submissions. Gobo Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should pan. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Oma Platas in UFC history. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants Ready? stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. with the right hand. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No free piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're doing. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid their shot. Effective punch there by Brandon Moray. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Brandon Moreno. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Moran. Head kick is blocked. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. And he comes through with a big knee. Beautiful knee. Once again, employing the knee. Big knee lands there. Man! Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pop or he can chase the mission. Back to the feet now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Moreno gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Just misses with a left hook there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Back and forth we go. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Close guard. Moreno's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, 
Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Really hurt him at the end of that round. He is still going to be hurt. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible Ready? five. Ready? And this is the time where Let's fighters go, are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighters. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice body kick right under the elbow. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Single collar tie now. Some nice back and forth action here. Big kick lands. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Able to land with the lead uppercut there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just over three minutes to go. Head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it, it's more blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it puts a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Moreno's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Next there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. You go back to me right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice straight punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Moreno gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. A single collar tie there. Slips the punch nicely there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. 
strike it. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Moreno. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Punch over the top. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, his opponent swarming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. You're going to be okay. I want you to go back. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, next round getting underway here, and next both round, fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, so they put in the right work when it came to the cardio. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the trends that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. He's back. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Good is that right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! He's hurt back. Huge right hand! Oh my goodness! He's throwing hard in the pocket. I mean, he's cutting the dollar. Leg kick. Good punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. All right, single collar tie now. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Right hand on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big head kick lands. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got a defender who's carried back. are throwing back and forth. Oh! Whoa! All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground. Do you believe him? That is it! He's done! He's done! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot.
to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliat has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and UFC Golden Glory at flyweight still goes through him as he defends the title successfully tonight by way of knockout and it's going to take a huge effort I would think to dethrone this guy at 125 pounds. A massive effort and in every title defense you see his confidence raised and his ability continues to improve over and over over this great title reign.